Hi, this is Rick Rosati from Mitigation Journal, the All Hazards Podcast. I recently had to suffer through a, a long and misinformed conversation with a local politician, and I wanted to set the record straight. Just as the world is appropriately focused on the catastrophic natural events occurring in Haiti, it's important for us to remember it can happen here. We can't afford to look back at the last big one and say that's as bad as it's going to get. As terrible as our nation's history has been with natural disasters, it could have been much worse and impacted a much larger geographical and civilian population. Tomorrow's disasters will be worse because there will be more to impact and more to destroy. Failure of an effective preparedness and response commitment threatens to touch off a chain reaction that will link secondary events impacting technology, infrastructure, and society. A gradual or rapid decline will affect the loss of control and could easily result in the worsening of a situation exponentially greater than the original catalytic event. For those thinking that it can't happen here, consider the impact of prolonged extensive power grid failures. How about the loss of natural gas distribution or the potential of natural gas explosions in a major port? How about the lack of water or the ability to pump the water or purify the water? or the lack of sanitation as a result of a large-scale natural disaster? What about the loss of health care or our hospitals? How about the inability to get the fuel tankers to the local gas stations or the delivery truck to the local supermarkets? Consider also the impact of poor planning or no planning and what that will have on our ability to receive materials and supplies from a national stockpile or other source of aid. Consider also the fact that few, if any, Americans have prepared themselves or their family to be self-sufficient for 24, 72 hours or to take part in a major evacuation. Just over a decade ago, reports indicated that as many as 45% of our nation's bridges and tunnels were deficient, obsolete, or in need of immediate repair. Around the same time, it was estimated that approximately 200 dams and populated areas were in the same poor condition. Any city in the United States could find themselves in the same position as Haiti is right now following such a devastating natural catastrophe that is isolated and in need of support. The reality is that cities or states could find themselves in an agonizing wait for limited national resources and supplies. Keep in mind that a large-scale event or natural disaster could easily impact more than one city and more than one state. And cities and states could become competitors for the same limited government resources. Consider also the impact on biology and disease. Situations may occur that will promote the spread of disease, contamination of water supplies, mass fatalities without the ability to manage the remains. Change in environment may promote favorable situations for growth and spread of bacteria and virus. Unfortunately, it's typical for us to plan for only one event at a time. Multiple events will occur. Simultaneous and synergistic effects will magnify the outcomes. It's our job to admit it can happen here and to be prepared. I'm Rick Rosati and this is Mitigation Journal, the All Hazards Podcast.